welcome back to PAG Kids Online. My name is Hope and I am so glad that you're all here today. And welcome back to my office. It was so good getting to see some of you this past week in PAG Kids. And I am so excited that we get to continue to have fun, hang out, and learn together online. Before we get into today's Bible story, I have a fun game for you all. Today's game is called Tricky Questions. I'm going to give you all a riddle and you have to try to guess what the right answer is. Okay, are you ready? Our first riddle is, what has ears but cannot hear? Is the answer a cat, a corn, or a tree? What do you guys think? The right answer is corn. Great job. Okay, next one. What has hands and a face but can't hold anything or smile? Is it a chair, a fan, or a clock? What do you guys think? You got it, it's a clock. Okay, last riddle. I get wet as I dry. What am I? A towel, a basket, or a sweater? What do you all think? The correct answer is a towel. You guys were so good at that, wow. Riddles are supposed to be tricky. If you think about the wording of a riddle, there is usually only one correct answer. And today we'll learn about a story where Jesus answers many tricky questions. Let's take a look at our Bible story video for today. The religious leaders heard Jesus teaching in Jerusalem, and they decided to ask tricky questions to catch him saying something wrong. They sent men to Jesus. The men said, teacher, we know you tell the truth. Is it right to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Jesus knew what they were doing. Why are you trying to trick me? He asked. Show me the coin you used to pay the taxes. The men brought him a denarius. Jesus asked, whose picture is on the coin? Whose name is on it? Caesar's, they answered. Jesus said, then give to Caesar what is Caesar's and give to God what belongs to God. The men were amazed oh, yeah. at what Jesus said and they went away. Later, the religious leaders came to question Jesus again. Teacher, which command in the law is the greatest? They asked. Jesus answered, Love the Lord God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second most important command is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. A man said to Jesus, That's right. To love God and your neighbor as yourself is far more important than offerings and sacrifices. The man answered wisely, and Jesus said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. Then Jesus asked the religious leaders a question, whose son is the Messiah? David's, they said. How can that be? Jesus asked. David called the Messiah Lord. Why would he do that if the Messiah is his son? The religious leaders did not know what to say. Their plan had failed and no one was brave enough to ask him any more questions. When the religious leaders questioned Jesus, he answered with wisdom and power. Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God. He is the Word of God, who came to show us exactly what God is like. Jesus had authority in heaven and on earth. Wow, those were some really tricky questions. I know for a fact that I wouldn't have been able to answer them, would you? But Jesus spoke with wisdom and authority, and he was able to answer any question they asked him and always find the right answer. No matter what kind of question Jesus' enemies asked, he always had just the right answer. And today's Christ Connection talks about this too. Let's take a look. When the religious leaders questioned Jesus, he answered with wisdom and power. Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, he is the Word of God who came to show us exactly what God is like. Jesus has authority in heaven and on earth. In our Bible story, Jesus also tells us what his greatest commandments are. We can read more about this in Mark 12, verse 30 to 31, where he says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. 
The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. So this next week, I want you to think about what it looks like to follow these commands. How can you love God more and love your neighbors, the people around you more? I encourage you to talk about this with a family member or a friend throughout this next week. Now, before we go, let's pray together. Jesus, we thank you that you are a wise and loving God who always has the right answers to our tricky questions. God, I pray that this next week you would help us to obey your commands and to love you more and to love the people around us more. We love you and we pray this all in your name. Amen. See you all next week. Bye!